my name is Dan, and today we're going to open up the Fallout Wasteland Warfare two-player starter set from Modifius Entertainment. Very cool. Been really looking forward to opening this. I've been researching the rules and the models and the factions for a couple weeks now, and the game looks really fun to play. Super excited. There we go. Okay. So up top, we've got the book on getting acclimated. Looks like it takes you through the first tutorial missions and the rules basics. We've got the newest errata, dated for August 2018. This might be old, but the uh, all the rules are posted for free on the Modifius website, so you can go download and print the newest erratas. We've got two of these. So these are all the uh, tokens and rulers that you need to play the game. These are your objective markers. You've got armor markers. You've got things on fire, frozen heavy weapon markers, caps, luck, all kinds of fun stuff. There's two of these because it's meant to give each player one of them to keep. Very cool. Alright, we got the uh, maps, the uh, play mats. Oh wow, these are actually bigger than I expected. Wow, nice. So, it is paper, but it's not it doesn't feel cheap. It feels like a, a decent quality paper. Pretty heavy. Uh, I believe these are identical. Maybe they aren't. Let's see. Honestly, didn't look at the print. I have to go back and review it. So there's another road and rubble and all that fun stuff. Very cool. Quality of the print's actually pretty good too. It is digital, so it looks a little digitally. Cool beans. Here's our rule book. It's actually pretty thick. It's not not uh, super light, but not super in depth. So they've got some stuff about painting the models, assembly. Uh, they go through how to paint some of the different factions, and then here's where the rules start. So all the units. Movement, shooting, line of sight, all that fun stuff. Cool. And then they've got, I would imagine, some missions. Probably in the other books, some missions. And then some reference sheets in the back for quick reference. Very cool. The campaign handbook. This is meant for if you want to play a single player or co-op. So they go through scenarios your different infrastructures, settlements, all that cool stuff. Pretty decent sized as well, 50 pages roughly. Nice, quality's nice, feels like a well printed magazine. We've got uh, some bags to store all those tokens that we have. Let's look at the dice. So they did only give one white die and one red die, but two of all the others. So blues for special effects, greens for accuracy, yellows for armor penetrations, blacks for damage, and your white die is for your basic skill checks to see if you hit uh, and do tests and all that fun stuff. Cool. We do have, looks like a couple hundred of these smaller cards. So these go through your, your weapons, your perks, your leader traits, your consumables, all of the really cool customization parts of the game that makes the uh, makes it feel not so cookie cutter. So here's all the different weapons, here's some consumables, here's uh, some junk, some armor. Yeah, very cool. It looks like these are boosts, and they've got creatures, and they've got perks, and there's events. Cool, lots of good stuff, a lot of cards. 
that uh, be interesting to sort. All right, and then you've got your bigger cards. These are your character cards, or your unit cards, excuse me. So these are the different models that you play with. So this set seems to just have the basic ones for uh, the models that this kit comes with. And if you want the cards for some of the other kits, you can download them online for free, or you can buy the uh, printed cards online on the uh, Modiphius website or Amazon or wherever you get it from. Cool. So it's got the special, it's got all of the symbols that represent the different skills the person can do, their basic armor if they're not equipped with any more, their movement, charge distances, and then they've got some, um, looks like these are kind of like objective or reference cards almost. Yeah, here's some reference cards in the back. Cool. Uh, they look like your standard size trading card, game card. Pretty medium quality, not not good, but not bad. But I'll be definitely be sleeving these. Cool. And then last but not least, the models. So the models in this kit are different from the models in all the other kits. I got some other kits to go through later. Um, these are PVC, which is supposed to be a little bit lower quality than the other kits, which are uh, resin, high quality resin. So, uh, that was one thing I was a little concerned with, is what level of quality are these going to be? And they're also all pre-assembled. So I'm going to pull some out. And honestly, the detail is better than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a lot more muddied. It's actually not bad. Uh, I'm actually impressed. So you get in the kit, uh, you get your survivors. So this looks like a Brotherhood of Steel Paladin, your lone survivor, some settlers, a tech, and a dog. And the dogs I hear are quite vicious in game. And then you've got yourself three super mutants, a couple mutant hounds. Actually not bad quality, they look pretty good. They are attached to the base a little funny. The bases are a little bit warped, uh, which maybe we can fix with some hot water, who knows. Uh, and then you also get an alien and a death claw. And actually this death claw feels pretty substantial. It definitely feels solid. It's not like super light. Uh, the foot's glued to the base a little weird. The base is pretty warped. Uh, probably won't even sit flat doesn't it kind of like rocks a little bit so we'll see what some hot water can do if I can fix it but the quality of the model the sculpt and all that is actually pretty good there is some warpage like on the horns up here that'll need to get fixed uh, but honestly not as bad as I was expecting I am impressed so the whole kit was about $60 uh, which I think is a pretty fair price for everything that you get uh, there was a lot of time obviously put into all these rules super excited to play and that's the unboxing. Thanks for watching.